it's time to make some meatballs, because what's more Italian than some meatballs? Hey everyone, I'm Chef Joe Sasto, and today I'm going to be turning one of these mystery ingredients into pasta. Well, we have some crazy options here. Let's find out what I'm making today. All right, all right, Chipotle burrito. I'm okay with that one. That's not too hard. It's not the easiest option on here. Let's just get started. I think first things first, we need to order some Chipotle. And we have our Chipotle. So we got the whole thing. Obviously some chips, salsas, we'll include those. I have some ideas. The ideas are flowing. I know how to work those into the mix, right? We got a healthy portion of crema, thank goodness, because that actually is my favorite part. And wow, a very tiny burrito. Am I crazy? Didn't they used to be much bigger than this? Let's open this up. We'll give it a little, a quick bite, a taste test. Okay, we got steak, beans, and rice. I have all these on the side. I'll use everything, just to keep it fair. This is gonna be good. I know what to do. We got this. Let's make some pasta. First things first, we need our pasta dough. Now, I've never done this before. Obviously, I've made quite a bit of pasta dough, but my instincts tell me to use the rice in the dough. So we're gonna go our burrito rice into here. I'm gonna give it a little bit of flour just to get it started. I'm using double zero and semolina. A little of this, a little of that. All right. I got just a little bit of uh, room temperature water here. All right, that is the beginning of our pasta dough. I am gonna use the rest of this flour and the rest of this flour. And of course, you know, a little bit of salt goes a long way, making everything taste better. Slowly adding in some water. Voila, huh? How about that? Who would have thought you can turn chipotle burrito rice into pasta dough? Time to knead. I'm gonna take just a little bit of flour here just to make sure we're not gonna stick. I already could tell right now, I'm gonna use this to make some cavatelle. I don't think that's ever been done before. First time ever things are happening here and you're watching it, you're part of it. Pasta dough is done. Let's get this wrapped up and break down the rest of that burrito for the rest of our pasta. So I need to incorporate the burrito tortilla here some way. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this into some thin strips. So butter is hot, nice and sizzling. We'll come in with our tortilla strips, a little pinch of salt, and our chipotle powder for our chipotle burrito. Chipotle, smoked, dried jalapenos. For anyone out there that was wondering, most chilies have two names, a name when they're fresh and a name when they're dried, interestingly enough. So I'm just gonna let my crumble rumble, I'm gonna throw this into the oven, let it get nice and crispy, and then it's time to make some meatballs, because what's more Italian than some meatballs? So I have my steak here from my Chipotle burrito. We'll start with a little bit of olive oil. Some onions, we'll start with a little sofrito here. Diced onions, some chopped garlic. We'll sweat this down. Onions and garlic cooked down, nice, soft, and translucent. And we'll go in with all that steak. I got a little bit of smoked paprika here. Let's just toss this all together. Toss, toss, toss. That looks and smells awesome. So I'm gonna let this cool in the fridge. I'm gonna grab my tortilla chips and then we're gonna turn it all into meatballs. Now I wanna grind these down into bread crumbs, except it's not bread, they're gonna be tortilla chip crumbs for our meatballs. I'm probably only gonna use, eh, we'll use that many. All right, so steak now into our tortilla crumbs into here instead of ground beef. Now we need, uh, let's see, an egg. This is gonna be our binder. Hold everything together. We're on our way. Look at that. That is, that's meatball-ish. Taste test. Make sure we like our seasoning. Mmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Gloves. On, time to form some meatballs. I'm gonna use a little scoop here just to keep things nice and consistent. 
Now I'm just gonna come through here, make these all nice and pretty. The true testament of this is at the end, when we're tasting it, if they can't tell that we started with a Chipotle burrito, I think we accomplished our mission. A little more olive oil into a hot pan. There's no raw meat in here. So really I just wanna crisp them up on the outside, get a little bit of color. <laughs> we're just gonna let these guys finish cooking all the way through, and then we're cooking some pasta. For our sauce, I'm going to uh, incorporate the pinto beans that I had picked out of my burrito from earlier. I'm also going to supplement that with a little bit of vegetables over here. Starting with a hot saute pan, we're gonna go in with a couple of tablespoons of butter. This butter makes things taste better. Melt that down, bring it together. We have some diced onion. We got some diced carrot. Ready to incorporate our beans, and then we have this pico to use, right? So we'll do a little bit of that tomato in there, toss that all together to combine. And then I do wanna kind of cook this down together, make this all become one. This is beef stock, and so I'm just gonna cover everything with a little bit of stock. We'll bring this up to a simmer, reduce it just a little bit, and then we're gonna throw it all into the blender until it's nice and smooth. So our bean ragu has reduced to about half here. Now I just wanna blend it all together. And we'll have a nice smooth and creamy bean sugo. Let's give it a little taste test for approval. We're nice and smooth, creamy. Oh, no one's gonna know this is a Chipotle burrito. I don't even know it's a Chipotle burrito. I'm gonna season this up with just a little squirt of lime juice. And then it's time to roll out some pasta. I'm just going to divide this into, let's call it sixths. I know math is hard. Then those will be ready. I'm going to come in here and take each strip and roll it. We might need the spray bottle. There we go. Now we're rolling. I'm Italian. I'm allowed to do this, right? So those are all done. I got all of my snakes finished. Going to take my flour now and just dust that over the top. So snakes are together. Then we can come in with our cutter. I like to go in half and go down the row. Pasta magic happening right before your eyes. And that's not it now. We have all of our cavatelli almost. Then you come in here and I'm gonna use a uh, Cavarolo board just to put a little bit of texture in that notorious little cup on each piece of pasta. And then we're on to the moment of truth we've all been waiting for. Time to cook this and bring it all together. So we got all of our rice, chipotle, cavatelli noodles, one of a kind. Maybe the one and only time this will ever be done. Perfect lid back on, so we are boiling. So noodles are floating here. We'll give it a little, much more fluffy than I would've imagined. Really nice texture on those. That's pleasant, I like that. What a fun surprise, huh? Our noodles are done. Into our meatball pan. A Little bit of that pasta water. Always our friend, some starchy water. We call that the white gold. I have our bean sugo from earlier. We'll go one nice spoonful of that. And now, hear that sound? Sound a good pasta, my friends, huh? So we'll go pasta down first in our bean ragu. Let's go crema. Crema's next, right? Oh my, look at that. Next, our meatballs coming in. Next, a little bit of our cilantro for freshness. We have our crispy crumbly tortilla strips. What a beautiful looking bowl of pasta made from a Chipotle burrito. Now, we just gotta bring in our taste tester. Alex, I'm welcome. Back. You're back. For more. I have another pasta here for you. <laughs> Ooh. Smell test. It smells great. It kinda smells like beans. You're good. Yes, <laughs> yes. There, you're on the right track. <laughs> I like this. Okay, I gotta get some pasta. I gotta get some sauce. Oh, you're, yeah. you're a good That's bite good. builder. That's a good bite. Mm. This tastes like Mexican food. 
Yes, you're on the right track. It's fast food. Like a burrito bowl? Close. I mean, it's a burrito mm. from Chipotle. Oh, Yes. Thank you for watching. I want to know, let me know in the comments what I should make into pasta next. Can I eat it? And we'll have Can Alex here forever to try it. Eating all of your the ultimate judge. <laughs> I'm okay with being a judge. Oh, yes.